Highland News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier, Hawaii Realty. Happy Friday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. Well, this year you can expect a lot of options for fireworks shows around Oahu and the Hilton Hawaiian Village in Waikiki will set off fireworks at 11 o'clock. The Kahala will have a fireworks show at midnight for those of you living and partying in East Honolulu and North Shore residents can see them light up the night sky at Turtle Bay. You can also see fireworks near Aloha Tower off Nimitz Highway. But if you're planning on ringing in the new year with your own fireworks, Hawaiian Electric Company and the Honolulu Fire department want you to do so safely and just stay clear of those power lines. Don't string fireworks to utility poles. Keep a 10 foot gap from power lines if you're using a ladder to string up those fireworks. And if anything gets tangled in power lines, do not try to untangle it yourself. Fireworks are only legal 9 p.m. New Year's Eve till 1 in the morning New Year's Day. And for those New Year's Eve partiers, AAA wants to help you get home safe. They're offering their free tipsy tow service on New Year's Eve. AAA will pick up drivers in need and tow their car for up to five miles for free. That service is available from six at night New Year's Eve to six in the morning New Year's Day. All you have to do is call the number on your screen. That's 1-800-222-4357. And the Honolulu Police Department says they will continue impaired driver checkpoints from the start of the new year till February 28th. And this is all in efforts to reduce traffic injuries and deaths. And the checkpoints will be at unannounced times and locations. And a traffic reminder, parking near Lanakai Beach will be restricted for the holiday weekend. This means no parking allowed on streets and shoulders from 10 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon Saturday through Monday. And the city encourages people to use public transportation to get around and the Pillbox Trail as well. As always, don't forget to tune into Island News tonight at 5, 6 and 10 for the very latest on these stories and more.